An Alexandria JV football player says that they were spat on and called a racial slur during a football game this week. Now we're told that the team was playing at a school in Fairfax County. Our Kobe Satterfield has tonight's top story. Tonight there are allegations a TC Williams JV football player was taunted and called a racial slur. It's something both the Alexandria City Public Schools and Fairfax County Public Schools say they are investigating as this is the second reported allegation of an FCPS student spitting and hurling racial slurs at an opposing player in a matter of weeks. Just keep wondering will it ever stop? Will it ever stop? Those thoughts led Monique Bryant to start a hashtag play fair now petition that says incidents like this are bigger than football and racism and bigotry will not be tolerated after she says her son's football team had racial slurs hurled at them last month and says it's heartbreaking to know the same thing happened again with another Fairfax County Public School. There was a game that transpired with a JV team in Fairfax, two teams um, on Monday night and racial slurs, some of the similar ones that were used in the March 5th game uh, with our students were being hurled back and forth. Um, it was stated that the coaches again heard same thing, told the refs, and when adequate actions were not taken, the coaches took their players off the field and left. Alexandria City Public Schools issued a statement saying a player also alleges he was spat on. I never thought that our children would be safe fighting the same battles that my parents fought and my grandparents fought. FCPS issued a statement today saying they are aware of a number of allegations regarding the use of racially charged language and racial slurs in the last few weeks and condemned the behaviors. Behaviors Bryant says no child or person should have to endure. To know that children have been fighting these battles and they didn't feel as though their voice mattered is it's unbelievable. I asked an FCPS spokesperson how many students were being investigated and what their punishment would be. Spokesperson says that they cannot comment on individual student situations, but in a statement released by the district, it does say that if anyone is found to have used this type of language, they will be held accountable. In Fairfax, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.